Hello Zebrahood, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today is the day after Bunny Day. Right now on Stripe, it is 12, 18 p.m. on Monday, April 13th, 2020. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today. Oh, did anyone else catch that quiz show on TV yesterday? How did they come up with all those questions each week, let alone all the answers? Oh dear. There I go again, prattling on about my personal TV habits. Sorry, folks. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. So today, hopefully, be a nice chill day. It's actually meeting up the weather outside. If you saw that the, it was a rainy window, it's raining outside for me. Does it know? Or is that just a random coincidence? Oh, that's so cool. So we still have all of our egg day stuff on. I definitely want to um figure that out in a moment. We got spring blossoms. What, what were those? From Nook shopping? Um, open. Oh, okay, that was that was a KK slider thing. This is a hose reel. Oh yeah, that's right, I wanted this for my, my garden. That'll look really cool. Um, for right now, I definitely wanna reorder some stuff, because it doesn't look the best how it is, but I can at least, for right now, place that there. Not the best, not the worst. Um, but I, I will definitely switch out of this now. Bunny day is over, so if I could just, you know, get with the times, get back to my normal, clothes. Maybe Mabel will show up soon. I did look into this, and a lot of you let me know about this. With Mabel, is that you're supposed to buy a certain amount of clothes from her every time she shows up. So we'll definitely have to get to work on that, but for right now we'll put this cardboard box away. We have a simple wooden fence uh, recipe to learn. All right, there we go. And we'll sort of get started with our daily tasks after I get some proper clothes on. Uh, wooden wardrobe should I change? Of course. Um, So what do we have? I need this shirt. These pants or these pants? I'm feeling these pants. And <laughs> for the hat, I usually do this hat. And then for the shoes, I usually do these shoes. Even though these shoes aren't too bad, I wish that we had like more of a sneaker kind of shoe. Wait, what happened? What what, what just happened? I, I equipped it all? I guess not. I guess I pressed cancel. That's sort of silly. Um, Let's try this again. Uh, there, and there. Awesome. Oh, we still have the, you know what, I like the backpack. We're keeping it, we're keeping it for now. Um, We do have something going on here now. This is making a change. A closet is a must have item for a fashion trendsetter. I'll often nook mile, I'll offer nook miles to anyone who has a closet and changes outfits, thereby increasing the changes of an island fashion trend catching on. All right then, so that's going to be an extra 500 miles. We have quite a lot of miles at the moment, 11 and a half thousand. Speaking of which, what are Nook Miles plus stuff? We have chop down trees, pop balloons, spend bells to buy items, redeem Nook Miles, and catch up. These are actually really easy ones. Um, we'll definitely just chop down a tree right away, sort of see how that goes. But yeah, I'm very excited to get on with the day, sort of explore things and stuff, and see how that goes. A post uh, bunny day world. How is that gonna be? Let's just knock down this tree for now. And there we go, perfect. So that is already a, uh, a Nook Miles Plus for us. It should be the Daily Double as well. Get that out of here. So let's take a look for ourselves. Should be 400, yep, 400 miles, so we're almost at 12,000 now. If we see any balloons pop by, we'll definitely get those. But for right now, what else do we have going on around here? Because I'll probably want to go through and do my daily stuff, but then afterwards, I sort of want to go fishing. I want to go all in with fishing and see what kind of fish we can get this month and hopefully that goes awesome. Got some oranges back that way. Might leave the oranges for later. Oh, here's our money tree. I think this just, you know, grew in. Yeah, it definitely wasn't here yesterday. Hmm. Guess I can grab some oranges. But we'll, we'll stop into Timmy and Tommy in just a moment. Oh, some of our cherries have grown in. So we have one cherry tree right here, and then there should be a couple more. Yep, two more. Very cool. So that's awesome. So that means we're getting nine cherries. If they sell for like, what, 500 each? That's uh, 4,500 bells. Super duper easy. And that's why it's good to plant these fruit trees so we can just make some money out of them. We'll have to say hi to some villagers whenever they pop up as well. Yeah, we haven't really seen Pashmina too much recently. Is she home? She is home. We'll say hi to her. See how things are going. Hi, Pashmina. How goes it? Take a load off and stay a while, kidders. Let's chat. 
growing up in a earlier town was kind of lonely. I could walk for miles and never see anyone else. That's kind of why I shipped out to Stripe. I wanted to chill with my buds without the hour walk. I mean, I sort of like a little bit of both as well. I definitely like the idea of like having some isolation. This is yours, I'm gonna give you an orange. Whoa, what is it, kidders? I love this music. You're jamming out in here. Oh, let's go ahead and give her an orange. Now that is a tasty looking orange. <laughs> Thanks, I could eat these for days. They're scary good, kidders. All right then, so let's get out. I just love how they display all the stuff we give them. They have the different fish and stuff. So with that figured out, we got a, ooh, another thing over this way. I don't know if it would grow in though because of the uh, tree right next to it. So I will have to like eat an orange and, oh, there goes my shovel. Well, I do have another one though. I do have another one. It's flimsy right now, so I'll probably end up uh, trying to get some that's not what I meant to do. Well, I can actually still do something here. Maybe now is the time to experiment. Let's, ah, oh, that's so much money though. What if I, can I, can I do that and stack them up? Or what I could do is do this until I have 5,000 left over. I don't know if that works. And then take out 5,000 bells. Okay, they do stack. Put away, put away. Yeah, it won't even let me bury it at the moment. I think because this other one is in the way. So I would like to, Eat one, just eat one. And then switch over to this shovel, turn over this way, and then just dig this whole thing out. Perfect. Burying hole. So there we go, we buried 5,000 bells. We'll see how that works for us. Uh, oh, Mabel's here, hi Mabel. Perfect, but I don't have enough money for you right now, I don't think. Good afternoon, Zebra. Thanks for stopping by. How can I help you today? What's on sale? You got it, here's what I'm selling today. So you are selling tight-knit sweater, cardigan shirt combo, camo pants, embroidered floral skirt, a stylish jumpsuit, outdoor hat, sporty shades, stretch leggings, and then finally, antique boots. Um, I'll definitely get these. Apparently I need to buy at least like 5,000 bells worth of stuff from her. I'm going to wait for right now, but we'll definitely come back. But if we keep just buying from her eventually, we should be able to get what we want, right? So I definitely need to go around and start hitting rocks soon, but to do that, I might upgrade my shovel first. I would need some flint, or not flint, but uh, iron nuggets. So let me just really quickly hit this with the stone axe and hope I get what I'm looking for. Uh, oh no, so far not so much. Aha, there we go, I just need one, just one. So I can turn that one flimsy shovel I have into a full blown shovel. So that wasn't too bad. I'll run back home and figure that out. But yeah, I'm glad Mabel's here today. That's awesome. Because that's one step closer to getting just the shop unlocked. That's sort of my next big thing, is just getting a more formal way to get more clothes. Because right now we just sort of have like the slow trickle of clothes coming in at any given moment in time. I'm just not as big of a fan of that. Okay, so I made a shovel. All done for now. So I can switch to that now, and we can start figuring out the rest of the rocks around the neighborhood, and hopefully there'll be some digging spots I haven't quite spotted any yet today. We had six of them yesterday, so maybe it's balancing out a little bit. Oh, here are some pears. I definitely wanna sell all this fruit. Got it. But I noticed that the digging spots I set up last episode went away. I thought that like, you know, oh, I'll set up those digging spots so that they won't go away for next time, but I guess they do just go away still. Sort of a shame. Because it made it much easier to just, you know, dig all this stuff up and then just go for this. If I could have kept them there, I would just be able to run in the spot. But now this time I have to dig them up every time like that. Well, I guess that means I don't have to worry about sort of fixing it because they'll sort of fix themselves. Oh, that, I, I didn't get all nine of them though, or eight of them. Weird, that's a shame. But I still got some iron nuggets out of it. That's always good. And on the other side, we have another one. And more pears, a lot more orange trees as well. Oh, hey, it's it's a uh, apple. Being able to rock a fab smile, major life skill, Zebra. I love your rain outfit. Check this out. Boom, smiles. Come on, Zebra, smile with me. Happiness reactions are awesome. Let's go smile at people all day. Some folk find that unsettling. Oh, wow, okay, we learned a new reaction. I learned the happiness reaction. Time to put some smiles on some faces. So let's try that out right now. Uh, right here, happiness. Ah, <laughs> so cute. 
Zebra, do you need something, Cheekers? Let's chat. Folks are saying you popped a bunch of sky balloons yesterday. How do you hit something so small? Every time I get out a slingshot, I swear those balloons start laughing at me, Cheekers. I'm sorry. Well, if I find any, I'll definitely give you some. Are the, the, the coconuts are in. And there was Biff over there too, so we'll definitely want to talk to him. Just getting a lot of fruit for right now, though. Hey, Biff, how you doing? Yo, you've been training, Squirt? I want to chat. You can't beat a cold protein shake after a hard work. Yeah, I'll live for that first sip. <laughs> I'm glad you do. Hey, uh, is it weight training time? This is for you. Oh, what do you got, Squirt? I got some oranges. They're good and high, 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 we're good and high in vitamin C. They don't help you with your not getting sick. You don't want to get sick while you're walking in the rain. Some oranges sounds delicious right about now. Thanks. I'll eat this later. No problem. Okay, so looks like we got some more oranges. Want to make sure I get the most of these before we go back over this way and get the rock figured out. Yeah, we can at least you know sell these rocks or sell these fruit and make a good chunk of cash off of it to start today off. Always good to do. But it's always fun every day just to start it with like a little catch up with our villagers, you know? I oh, know, that's the wrong tool for the job. Haven't seen too many bugs around. I guess this is sort of something that doesn't pop up as much in the rain. We haven't had too many days in the rain yet. Oh, this is a money rock. Let's get it all. Please, I hope. There we go. One more. Yes, awesome. So that's a good chunk of cash. We can definitely use that to uh, get whatever else Mabel wanted us to, or was selling, you know? So that's awesome. You have 21,000 bells now, almost 22,000. And there's still plenty more to get. So let's first shake this tree. Oranges and rocks. That's like my two big goals right now. Oh, there's Celia. We'll talk to her as well. But there's just like not any fossil spots. Maybe they don't show up on rainy days. Maybe they just get washed out. I mean, isn't that really how it works anyways? You know, when it rains, some of the dirt, the top layer of soil sort of gets washed away and more of it comes up over time and that's how fossils sort of appear. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk to Celia in just a moment. Just wanna get all this figured out. Hi, Celia. Good afternoon, Feathers. I wanna chat. They say you shouldn't start your day without a plan, but they also say plans are a fool's errand. Ooh, I have never heard that one before. I mean, I definitely think you should start your day with a plan, but maybe that's just me. Need something, Feathers? What's the latest? Why can't I seem to net any bugs? I'm out here trying every day, but I've yet to catch anything. You think I need to try match matching my breathing to theirs? Wait, do bugs even breathe like we do? They probably breathe a whole lot faster, if they do. What's up, Feathers? I would say, first off, for the, you know, make sure you take your time. Definitely, you know, watch your breathing, but just slowly move up, don't rush it. Uh, I still haven't gotten around to returning something I borrowed from Pashmina. I never meant to keep it for so long, but now I, that I have, it's awkward to even bring it up. Let me return it then. Really? You do that for me? Here, Th and thank you so much. You're welcome. So we'll give that to Pashmina. I could maybe just keep it for myself, but that'd be mean. I know this is a lot to ask, but could you deliver to today, Feathers? Yeah, definitely. We've already seen her today. We'll definitely be seeing her again. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this orange, a couple of the other ones as well. And I haven't been looking on the beach as much as I should. Especially for things like, uh, I mean the shells I should probably just sell because they're easy money. But on top of that, I need to be checking the beaches for different DIY recipes and stuff. And then like I said, a lot of the later parts of today's episode will probably be spent fishing. Lots of coral on the beach today. I love how the water looks when it's raining like this. It's like a little bit of a lighter shade of blue than normal. Grab this one, and I think that's gonna be about it. But let me make extra sure of that. Yeah, we're good, okay. Head back now, because <laughs> we still have plenty to explore. But at this point, like, I'm not too worried about it. I haven't seen any fossil spots. Maybe they just don't show up in the rain. But we got plenty of oranges, plenty of them. But I think we've talked to all of our villagers except for Stu. We have not talked to Stu yet. Gotta find him at some point. I'm sure he's walking around, maybe he's back home. Oh, there is a spot right up there, okay. So maybe there's still hope that I haven't missed out on a bunch of fossils today. I'll take some weeds as well, just so that they're not as much in the way. Okay. And 
let's hop over to this side. Wanna do all the ground level stuff first, for sure. But yeah, now that Bunny Day is officially over, I've been thinking about the fact what event is coming up next. I mean, I guess, really, in May, there aren't too many major holidays, right? Uh, but I know that here in America in July, that's like the closest thing I can think of, there is usually a, um, you know, 4th of July. So I wonder if they'll do anything like with fireworks related or anything, that would be pretty cool. Just to have some kind of like firework effect going on in the sky. Maybe you can collect fireworks everywhere instead of eggs. Oh boy. I really do hope that if they do any other uh, holiday events, that they work a little bit differently than what they did here for Bunny Day. It just became a little bit exhausting after a while with all the eggs. I'm glad we made the most of it and we got everything, but yeah, could have been better, could have been worse. Anyways, there is a spot here. This is definitely just a bamboo shoot though. I'd be very surprised if it's anything else. Oh wow, it is a fossil. Okay, look, I dug up a fossil. It'd be really weird if I dug up an egg. I'd be like, oh no, the nightmare continues. I don't see too much here in terms of other diggable spots, but I do see plenty more trees. I see plenty more oranges uh, on those trees and another rock, of course. Oh, that's a big fish. I'm tempted to go for that one because that's a particularly big fish. Here you go, buddy. Whoa, right away too. This might just be a, a sea bass. Yep, okay. But you gotta try when he's that big. You gotta try. I feel like in previous Animal Crossing games it would even tell you how big the fish was, but maybe I'm misremembering. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get this real fast. So yeah, I guess there's no villagers uh, visiting the campsite today. We have to talk to Tom Nook and see what we wanna do next because I think that's something we have to figure out. Anyways, there we go. Getting some iron nuggets, some normal rocks. I have a lot of normal rocks at this point. I wonder if I should start selling some of them soon. What do they even sell for? Probably not much. But these oranges should sell for you know a pretty penny at this point. We got a lot of them. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 9, uh, 60 of them. So that's pretty cool. And we're getting more. Right, there's another one over this way. It makes me a bit sad that the, uh, the campsite's not filled out today. I was hoping it would be, but we'll have more chances in the future. Anyways, that's all the ground level stuff sort of searched. We're gonna go up this way now and see what else we can find. I know of at least one spot. Aha, here's another. I don't have to worry about, uh, yeah, okay. So there are still some fossils around. They were just sort of a little bit more sparse today. Don't have to worry about finding eggs or anything, so we could just keep moving. Here's a rock. So let's dig that there, and this here, and that should be enough. I hope. I don't know what I got there. Probably more rocks, because it makes a specific sound effect if it's not, if it's an iron nugget. There we go. See, so yeah, a bunch of rocks and two iron nuggets. It's something, it's something. Definitely gonna grab all this. How's our inventory doing? It is getting quite full. So I just have to be aware of that. But I think we only have one more rock to check out and hopefully one or two more fossil spots. At least one. I know that there was one down this way that I have not checked out yet. Where is it? Right here. I'll happily grab it. And that's another fossil. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't see too much more in terms of, I thought there was one more rock. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe that was the last rock. Because there's definitely not one up here, right? Last time I checked. Yeah, not looking like it. And no more fossil spots. So unless I missed one, oh wait, right there. So unless I missed any others, that's definitely the last one. So let's go get it. I won't donate all that to Blathers, that'll be awesome. Yeah, we did our sort of preliminary searching the island for the episode. Oh, okay, I was heading back and I thought I heard a present. Indeed I did. These are so much more satisfying now that they're guaranteed to not be an egg. And that sort of just sort of, I guess like sucked the life out of it, unfortunately. Um, but we'll get a mama panda? Oh, it's so cute, I love it. All right, what did we just get for the Nook Miles Plus? Oh, we got the balloon. So there we go, there's 400 more miles for us. We're gonna go to Blathers first 
get some things assessed, then do some donations, then sell some stuff. Should be a pretty good cycle of stuff. And then we could buy from Mabel, it'll all go well. So let's head into here and see what we got going on. Hopefully some good stuff. Hi, Blathers. So he's snoozing on this somber rainy day in the middle of spring, in the middle of April. Assess some fossils for me. So we have four of them, which is our standard amount. Ooh, more than one I see. Okay, so let's see which one of those I can donate. Make a donation. Two of them. So we have the left megalo side and the left quetzal wing. So double lefts right now. So two more additions to the collection. Very, very nice. And we'll just be going back to sell the rest. Should be some good money. On top of what we've already made out of the money rock, it'll be awesome. We should have a gun chunk. We're, we're getting closer and closer with each episode to paying off our loan for our second room so that we can get something else. That's always fun. So Timmy and Tommy, I'm coming in. Hope you guys got some cool stuff today for me to check out. Oh, wow. We got that tiger again. Hello, hello, welcome to Nook's Cranny. Oh, and we got this cool teapot. I definitely wanna get that, but first let's sell. Uh, I wanna sell. So we have, I'll sell this orange tree as well as some pears, uh, cherries, oranges, 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 coconuts, shells over this way. Uh, that, wow, this should be a good chunk of cash, I would hope. Come on, it is 27,510 bells, more than doubling our cash, that's fantastic. So what about this right here? Seems like you're interested in the stovetop espresso maker. Let's see, that's 1,700 bells, yep. Cause that'll be great for our kitchen. I wanna just get every kitchen material and I'll just pick and choose which ones I wanna keep later. This is a Monstera. I love it. We need this in our house for sure. I'll buy it. Now this I'm a little curious about, but I don't think I'll get. Fishing boat flag. Huh. 2,200 bells. I'll pass. And what do you guys have in here? I will buy a flimsy shovel, just because I know I'm going to need one eventually. Might as well just sort of get the materials for it now. Wait, I wasn't done, no! <laughs> Hold on, I wanted to see the wallpapers and floors. Uh, pink simple cloth wall, white botanical tile wall, blue blossoming wall, and the orange molded panel wall. Don't think I need any of these. Wooden knot flooring, camel flooring, orange camel flooring, and simple blue flooring. I sort of like that. I'll take this. This might be nice if we have like a basement area. I'll buy it. Excellent purchase. I think that's about it. So yeah, with that done, uh, we got some Nook Miles Plus, I think for spending bells. So that's another doubled up, so that's 400 more. So our last Nook Miles are going to be catching five bugs and uh, redeeming Nook Miles. So I'll get my net out uh, once we leave. See ya. I'll get my net out and we will, um. Oh, hi, Celia. <laughs> we will catch bugs along the way as we start heading to Pashmina and the town center, but I actually don't see any bugs. Because not too many are out. Just with it being rainy. Oh, actually, I missed some shells over this way. Uh, maybe I'll grab them later. Because <laughs> it's going to be a while until I sell them. Okay, Pashmina, I got a return present for you. I didn't sell that by accident, right? I don't think I did. That'd be awful. If I actually sold her thing and was like, just not paying attention. No, I have it, I have it. I like having friends over, but I always worry about being a bad host or something, kidders. Delivery here. What's this? You got something for me, kidders? Yep, I have this for Pashmina. Oh, wow, I forgot I sent this, to, or I lent this to Celia. So she sent you to give it back to me, huh? Look at this fancy wrapping job. I can't believe she went to all that trouble. Wait, of course I can. <laughs> Well, thanks for doing that, the hard part. You can go tell Celia the mission accomplished. All right, cool. So I'll have to tell Celia about that. I don't know if we'll get any kind of reward for a good deed, but honestly, a good deed is reward enough. Helping out the town and these people we care ever so much about, it's a big deal, at least to me. I don't know where she is at the moment. Aha, Celia, wait. Hi. 
Thanks so much for returning that pa that to Pashmina. How did Pashmina react? Uh, I don't remember. With appreciation. I was worried that she'd be really disappointed in me, Feathers. I'm so glad that she forgives me. Thanks again, Zebra. No problem. So like, if I actually wanted something out of it, I could've just taken it for myself, but that would've been mean. Oh, hey, Zebra, what's up? So I wanna buy. Uh, we will buy this tight-knit sweater. I'll buy it. So that's 800 right there. And then we also have this uh, cardigan shirt combo. Yep, I'll buy it. And then I guess we can get the pants here, because that gets us up to 1,640. If we need to buy at least 5,000 bells worth of stuff, I think, then this would be 2,940. So I'd still need to buy roughly 2,100 bells worth of stuff, which is exactly, well actually 3,000, no, no 2,100. Um, see, that's exactly what that is, but I'd rather just buy the antique boots. Uh, sure, I'll take them. So I think that's all I want from this grouping of things. And I'll take a pass, see you next time. So. Let's head into the shop, or not the shop, but the town center. I'll talk to Tom Nook about what we have to do next, but first we'll also take a look at the daily terminals and everything. What do we got here? Beige desert tile flooring, I'll take it. And this right here. Welcome to the Nook's Town Multimedia Terminal. Uh, 80 bonus miles, pretty cool. Anything new for us in terms of fencing, in terms of other stuff. Uh, coral, corral fence, not coral. This actually looks really cool. I'll take this one, for sure. I would really like to have all the fences at some point, even if I don't use them. Just having the options, for me, that's a big deal. And that's why I want bigger shops and just more clothing options, is just for options. Iron fence, I'm pretty sure I have this one. No, I don't, okay. So let's call off of the 1,000 right there, and that'll give us some extra miles. So that's cool. So I would not like to make another selection. At least I guess not another selection uh, with the iron, or the, for the tickets, or the uh, for the iron fence, of course, and the other stuff. I wanna go to Nook Shopping now. Special goods, outdoor bench, table, mesh cap. <laughs> I like how it's sort of an abbreviation of Nintendo. NTDO. Interesting. Oval glasses, MVPT, rabbit tea, sporty skirt, slip on loafers, and my place. I like this one. There we go. Don't think I need any of these other clothing options. Yeah, they're very basic for the Nook Miles ones, or the Nook thing, uh, multimedia thing. That's what I don't like about it too much, but that's why I really want Maple in our town. So hopefully she'll stick around. Anyways, we got 400 bonus miles right there. And now everything else besides the bugs. Access your wardrobe and change your look. I just did that earlier today. <laughs> Hi, Tom Nook. Do you mind uh, chatting with me? I just wanna see what's next for our town. I love, you can see the little bottoms of his feet. They were so cute. Ah, Zebra, hello, hello. This is the Construction Consultation Center. How can I help you, hmm? What should I do? Yes, yes, I'll explain the last major task for Project K then. We've targeted, started gathering feedback from folks in, on and off the island. Our focus right now should be improving the image of the island and gaining that all important word of mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with collating, collating the feedback, so talk to her for the latest information. I think Isabel will have some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase our population, improve the island's scenery, and turn Stripe into the most charming island it can be. Infrastructure is important, but let's plant flowers and use decorations to make this place look snazzy. Well then, thanks for your help, hmm? Indeed. So we'll talk to, uh, to, uh, Isabel, and see what idea she has. Hi, Isabel. Oh, Zebra, good afternoon. Oh, of course, as Mr. Nook mentioned, I'm leading a task force that compiles feedback uh, related to the image of our island. Okay, it's just me, though I have always wanted a task force of my very own. Anyway, I won't be, I won't bore you with the details now, but feel free to ask me about the island evaluations anytime. Now then, how can I help you today? Uh, let's talk about the island evaluations. Oh, wonderful. Seems you're as excited to hear about the image of our island as I am to talk about it. 
Well, allow me to explain how the task force, that's me, collects and analyzes the data for my reports. First, I conduct random polling around the island with residents, visitors, and tourists. Their feedback is, de is then ranked using the well-known five-star system. The better the balance of natural beauty, development, and decor, the more stars the island receives. That means we need more residents and buildings, proper infrastructure, and a well-decorated natural setting. Easy enough, right? But if we can achieve that perfect balance and welcoming environment, our ranking is bound to rise. As it stands, we currently have a one-star rating. Folks are feeling like we still have some, some room for improvement. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. I like how there aren't any ghosts around. It's a place where free spirits like me can just be free. All right, interesting. Well, there you have it. Hmm, seems like very every piece of feedback we've received is is from the same poli. And while I'm happy to hear they enjoyed themselves, we need more residents to get some word of mouth going about our island if we want a higher rating. For now, I suggest we focus on growing our population and gathering more varied feedback. If we w want to increase the number of residents, first we need to prepare some land to sell. Once we have all that in order, we can recruit folks to move here. I suggest you visit Mr. Nook's counter and ask him about island infrastructure. I'm sure he'd be happy to help set aside some land to sell. And there you have it. Just let me know the next time you like to hear the latest island feedback. Can I help you with anything else? For right now, no. Very interesting to hear about all that. I think that's something we'll chip away at a little bit more in upcoming episodes. But for right now, I think I've done what I want to do. I want to just go to fishing. Um, to do that though, I definitely want to clear out my inventory and everything. And we'll also probably make some fishing bait and just really go for it. I want to see how many fish we can catch throughout today's episode. Huh, okay. We got some more fence recipes. So I'm going to head back to my house now. We'll organize the inventory and we'll see how it goes. Oh, so I was heading back and Celia wants to talk. Um, I just wanted to make sure to thank you, Zebra. They say you've been trying to get KK to notice our island so he'll come perform here, Feathers. I'm grateful to you for trying to make this happen, Zebra. Between you and me, I think I might be the biggest KK fan on the island. I don't know, you have to compete with Tom Nook. Actually, I have something right here that might help. Oh, really? I thought maybe you could use it in my garden gnome here. Uh, for your big stripe promotion, I mean. <laughs> thank you. I'll make sure to use this garden gnome somewhere. Maybe we could just put it in our garden. I definitely, this is a work in progress. Um, this whole setup here. Uh, but for now, let's place this garden gnome. Oh, wow. I like him. He's like, hello, I'm a garden gnome. Let's go inside then. And like I said, I just want to quickly organize my inventory. I'll build some of the fishing bait and we'll see how it goes. I, I, I need to definitely take a look at the list of fish that are available this month and see if there's anything I want to focus on now. So I'm all ready to go. I bought some extra fishing rods and where we're going to be fishing today is actually going to be on the the uh, pier. There is a pier over this way on the other side of the bridge um, that I've not really done too much fishing on, but it's something I want to do because there are two fish that disappear by the end of April or May. Um, I think they're both April actually, so it's definitely worth it that I do this. Um, and they are, I think, the tuna and something else. Um, but there's this pier fish that you can sometimes find. I haven't really actually caught any yet, so that's where I have my six fish bait, and hopefully we can find some. There we go, that's a big fish to start with. So let's hope that this works well. Come on now, it's right in front of you. Really? <laughs> uh, okay, let's try again. Come on, buddy. Wow, Um, not very good peripheral vision on this guy. That's all right, it happens. How about that one? There we go. Come on now, let's not get too excited. Oh. Nice, all right, let's go for it. Will it be one of the fish I'm looking for? It is a sea bass, yay! <laughs> so I just gotta keep trying with this. And this is why it's also important to catch a lot more manila clams than what I currently do. This one seems a little bit smaller, so it's definitely not a sea bass. So I guess you can still get sea fish on the pier. Oh, come on, come on. We get a red tuna, or a red, a red snapper, I mean. So yeah, let's try maybe from a different angle. Let's scatter some food right here. Ah, all right. There we go, right in front of him too. Excellent throw, excellent catch for a new fish. No, it's a red snapper again. All right, well, I, I really don't know how that works, but we're just gonna keep at it and hopefully soon we'll find what we're looking for. There we go. Give it another toss. Wow, right away. Ah, just another red snapper. I mean, these are good fish to get because I can sell these guaranteed, but 
Just was hoping for a bit more in terms of uh, new fish. And fish don't seem to pop up around here too often. Oh, I got too excited there. That was so silly of me. Oh, this one's tiny. This one's so tiny. So it's at least gonna be something I haven't gotten. That's nice. But that's why it might be worth it even in today's episode to look around for more manila clams. Okay, come on. Oh wow, okay, so we, we have gotten this one, but not too much, too often. Butterfly fish. There's a small fish over this way. Yeah, let's go run around and start uh, getting some of these other guys while we can. Because there's also like the golden trout or something like that that's only on the cliff top. Oh, look at this, it's a seahorse! Oh, so cute, I call it a seahorse, but where is its sea jockey? Oh my gosh, I love it. So I've gotta go ahead and uh, donate that one for sure. Adorable. Okay, what about this guy? Oh man, so at least we got one new fish so far. What in the world? Okay, yeah, it's, it's the uh, it's the zebra turkey fish. It always looks so weird. I thought we caught a bat for a moment. <laughs> I was like, what? Why is that in the ocean? Sort of out of his own habitat. I get what that feels like, but still. You know, I, I wish he had some floaties if it was a bat. I mean, it was a fish, so we're fine. Okay, ready? Go for it, maybe. Come on. Nice. And that's another squid. We've caught quite a few of these in the past, so I don't actually have to worry about donating that. At least we're getting a good variety so far. That's always fun. And I think I just saw a manila clam pop up over there. So we'll try that out in a moment. Just gotta get this fish first. Got it. And there we go, there is a uh, horse mackerel, yep. So where was that? I think about here. Or there. Okay, vanilla clam. We have to sort of get those whenever they pop up, really, if we wanna make more fish bait, which I definitely do. Oh, I just heard another one. Right here, was it? Yep, okay, vanilla clam. How's my inventory doing? We still have a good chunk of it. I'm so glad that we had that, we got that extra slot. That's been so useful, so very useful. Oh, there's another fish. Get that fishing rod and launch it. Come on now. Oh, nice. Whoa, look at this! Yes, I caught a surgeon fish. Scalpel, forceps, fish hook. <laughs> Very cool. Very pretty fish. What do we got going on then this way? We got another clam. But yeah, now we got two new things. Uh, I know that there was probably a manila clam there, but I wanna get the fish too. Don't wanna miss out on any opportunities. Cool, right away. What's it gonna be? It's another red snapper. That's fine. Okay, so this is still here though, so didn't miss out on anything, awesome. Because we will definitely use these for fish bait as soon as I can, because you don't need any extra ingredients, it's just that and it turns into fish bait, it's really useful. Wrong thing, can't fish with that. Can't do any kind of spear fishing in this game, unfortunately, that'd be interesting. Got it. Okay, this is a horse mackerel. Ah, oh, there goes our fishing rod. I was expecting it to happen sooner or later, and that's why I bought some spares. They're only flimsy, but it's at least something. Okay, well, I'll just equip it like this. I don't need to favorite it. It'll probably go away too quick anyways. Oh wait, there is this, uh, so maybe I should favor it so we can switch between them a bit more quickly. Okay, either way, I got a manila clam. We still have, oh yeah, an entire row worth of stuff, so we're fine. So let's get up this way. No fish waiting around here, I guess not. Hmm, I'm sure there's some around soon. Aha, hey, this one's in the riverbank as well, so you never know. I think I hear, oh, I might have to look around for that. Oh, okay, I thought that was it, that's Celia. <laughs> She's not a, a balloon. Aha, there it is, there it is. It was yellow, so it should be a new piece of furniture or something. Everybody's over here too. Okay, 
Not quite the angling I need. Try again. Awesome. So what is this? This is a pinball machine. Whoa, look at this. Oh, that's cool. Can I actually play with it in the middle of the rain? <laughs> that's awesome. All right, well, we got a pinball machine out of a balloon in the sky. Don't know how that works, but it does. Anyways, this little guy is still swimming around in this riverbank, in this, it's not a riverbank, it's a river mouth, right? I think. Anyways, no matter what it is, we're gonna catch it. Come on, come on. Oh, have we gotten this? I caught a pale chop, yeah, okay. It's been a while, but yes, we have caught one before. I think I wanna keep the sea fish for right now. Do I hear a frog? Can I catch a frog? Hold on, let me get the net out. Cause I hear a frog and it sounds like it's coming from this tree. It's definitely this tree. Can I get a frog out of this or is this gonna be bugs? Huh. Maybe it's not a maybe it's not a frog though, maybe it's a cricket. Weird. Either way, I can't seem to get it. Huh. Aha! Here's our DIY bottle. And I also got this long locust, just for good measure. So let's definitely open this up and read it. The lucky duck, or to the lucky duck who picks this up, I set my mind on making up the next big thing in DIY recipes, and lo and behold, I had this genius idea. Whoever you are, I hope you're in the mood to craft up a brainstorm. Try it out, you won't be sorry. Wish you luck, Hamfrey. So what is this gonna be? Kettle bathtub. Huh. So it's a bathtub that looks like a kettle? Weird. Uh, but I'll take it. It's one extra thing for the collection, and let's also try to get you. You just might be a sea bass. But I don't know, you're sort of by the pier. Would that count? Or do I have to be standing on the pier? Let's find out. It's a sea bass. Surprise, surprise. So we still have like, you know, seven or eight slots. Maybe there's something up this way. It'd be tar hard to see for sure, but nope, nothing over here for now. Down this way. Don't run too fast. Aha! Let's get ya. Oh, right away, too. He just saw it and went right for it. He is another fishy. It is another sea bass. They're just all over the place today, aren't they? I do see this. I think there might have been another one right next to it. I don't know, though. Nope, okay. So we have at least like five manila clams. That's five more food. Yeah, we have five of them exactly. I don't know if I'll be using those in today's episode, but it's good to have them. For sure. Oh. Oh, there's another, there's another one right next to us. Here we go. Right away. It's another zebra turkey fish. I love it. So of course it's a turkey fish because I guess it spreads out its sort of fins like a turkey would. There we go. I got a manila clam. So where is another fish? And another clam right there. My gosh, they're everywhere. So this is probably another one of those tiny fish we just got, the pale chub. Come on, there we go. You can get it. Oh, it's another seahorse, awesome. So we have three more slots. One of them is going to this manila clam. So we can catch two more things. I don't see too much else happening. I do hear something else flying around. Where is that at? Oh, over there. It's blue, so it should be some kind of material. Thank you. Let's find out. 
Gold nugget? Okay, I'll take it. And maybe I should just catch a locust, not locust. Well, yeah, it's a long locust. Put it the cow. Or not, because it's gone. Aha! Because I still am trying to get that uh, daily mission done. That's a daily double as well. Okay, well, one step closer. Long locust. Let's go first to Blather so I can donate some stuff, and then we'll go to, uh, then we'll go to uh, Nook's Cranny and sell the rest of it. Because we got at least two new fish, right? That was awesome. Super happy about that for, for sure. Hello. Ooh -hoo. Oh dear, pardon me. So I would like to make a donation. Um, Seahorse and surgeon fish. So there's two more fish. It's, it's something, making progress. Cause it's like not like we did anything super specific in today's episode, it was just sort of chipping away with stuff. And that's important to do in this game for sure. But yeah, it was fun to have like a rainy day fishing kind of thing. Always very enjoyable. So Timmy and Tommy, I got a bunch of fish for you. Some bugs, but I'm keeping the clams. Keeping those clams for sure. Hi guys. So. I wanna sell. How much are we gonna get for all of this? Cause it was a butterfly fish, a sea bass, a bunch of red snappers, two zebra turkey fish, a pale chub, horse mackerel, two horse mackerels, two more sea bass, locust. I think that's it. I think that's, oh wait, the squid. <laughs> Whoops. Um, I'll sell it later then. 17,000 bells. I'm just gonna take that and skedaddle. So at this rate, I wanna head back to Tom Nook and put away some of my money in the ABD and then probably just like whatever fish we or bugs we catch along the way, awesome. If there are any <laughs> or not. Yeah, it's not very long of a walk. I was just hoping we could get some extra Nook miles, but that'll be wrapping it up for today's episode. Had a lot of fun for sure. I think next episode, I definitely wanna focus in a bit more with growing our town and uh, adding more infrastructure or just different things like that. ABD, so yeah, we are able to deposit, I'm gonna deposit 46,000 bells. And that gets us over 200,000 saved up. Very, very exciting. So yeah, with that being said, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.